All right. It's a bowl. They're spitting it, reeking of tobacco. Photos of men toting guns and union placards. All right, buddy. This is where you say your bit. This is where you say your bit. A broad shoulder man points to you with a beer can. He's used to giving orders and having them obeyed immediately. You should not indulge him. Detective. A sharp note. He's leaving it to you. Oh, Kim. Terrible decision. Precinct 57's finest scans the room, leaving the speaking to you. He trusts you. Maybe against his better judgment, but he does. Don't say anything yet. Hey, hey, dipshit. You hard of hearing or something? The boss man's talking to you. Cross your arms. What, is he fucking kidding? This guy high or something? Hey, asshole, up here. We're talking to you. We are looking for Titus Hardy. First, we need to talk about your attitude, I guess. Wow. The RCM sent us some big dick cops. He puts some... He puts some gravel in that voice. Hot damn. Real big dick cops. Look at them. Reckless. Swinging in the wind. Yeah, look at the big dick on that cop. Can't tell a dick that big what to do. Must be something in the water in Jamrock. Yeah, gave him real nice big dicks. This is getting a little homoerotic. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, you might want to start asking your questions now. It's not going to get better than this. I didn't ask you. These guys are so macho, they're ready to confess to first degree murder. Ask if it was them. No, no, no. I was here. You got business with my boys. You got business with me. The boys are too eager to please him to keep their mouths shut. You're going to get a good head count here. Just wait. Hmm. Yeah. You fuck with the Hardy boys, you fuck with Titus Hardy. Oh yeah, his name is Titus Hardy. Hardy boys, you sh all right, shouts the scrawny rat-faced man, two teeth missing in the front. Relax, Dennis. No one is fucking you yet. Thanks. Yeah, Dennis, calm down. No one's fucking you, you stupid fuck. Let Dennis enjoy his fucking, man. We don't mind. You notice gang tattoos. The man must be either Mesk or some... Uh, I don't understand the races in this game still. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even being fucked, Dennis. Thanks, Fat Angus. <laughs> Easy, fellas. We got company. Let's see what brings the cop around. Too late. You already scanned the room. You got a pretty good picture. Of what? Of the actors here. You could take another look at the tracks in the mud. Oh, crime scene. Compare it to these guys. The man hanging in the backyard. Did you do it? So, you're not just here to swing your big dick. You're here for the pretty boy. A real looker, that one. Stinks like shit, too. A pretty boy. They love him, boss. Spend all day digging around in there. Can't get enough of that pretty boy smell. You know, I haven't washed, so... Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. Why is there a container belt around the dead man's neck? Container belt? Like we use in the harbor? Yes. Because we took it from the harbor where we work. Then we went out back and used it to hang him. Cool. I don't think... I, is it Half-Light going to be the one yelling at me? As he speaks, his fists contract, going through the pulling motion again. Savoring it. We did this together, all of us, until he was dead. That's why there's a container belt around his neck. Yeah, okay, sure. He's he's fucking with me. God damn right. I No. These seven honest men have equally come forth. They told you what happened? so that you don't waste any more of your time. They're playing to their considerable strength in numbers. Don't talk about arresting them. You'll only bring attention to your inability to do so. 
Well, they're also lying because he said uh, hanging him until he was dead. We know he didn't die by the hanging. Maybe, I mean, it sounds like he's fucking with me. He's just doing that to piss me off and admitting because he's like, yeah, I killed him. What of it? When he actually didn't kill him, but he knows that we can't do anything about it. Or he actually did hang the goddamn guy and he's also still fucking with me. <sighs> no remorse? How many people have you sent to the Shays? Ever felt remorse for them? I paralyzed a man. Or send them to reunion to rot. For 20 years. For life. I'm just doing my job. Oh, so you are just a simple, well-meaning man, eh? Ever been in solitary? Prison is a charter. That's what it is. He's clearly been in solitary confinement. No shit. And at a young age, nonetheless. So is hanging a man, slowly, without breaking his neck. Are you deaf? There will be no singling anyone out. You can't arrest a hardy boy without arresting all hardy boys. I, I didn't ask you. I, you're not even looking at me. Your face... I asked who called the shots. I wasn't making an arrest. Do you think you could do that? Do you think you could arrest them all? I asked who called the shots. Titus, keep addressing him. He wants everyone to know he's in charge. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> who do you fucking think does? Bow to the bearded man. Gangs are usually run with the oldest, most venerable member. <laughs> I'm gonna do Claire. I'm curious what he's gonna say about Claire. You keep him the fuck out of this. We have autonomy. Autonomy. It's all on us. Ebrard runs the union. I run the Hardy Boy. When Titus Hardy says he runs the Hardy Boys, uh. he means that in an administrative capacity. On that night, everyone acted as one man. Uh. How'd you kill him? We hanged him up by his neck until he got real still. Wasn't that obvious, copper? Didn't they teach you anything at the cop school, idiot? No, I have drunk it all away. You're pretty sure you've had at least two years of cop school <laughs> and many more of active service. I'm pretty sure. Certainly enough to not put up with this back sass. Deliver a knockdown observation. I don't know if I trust physical instrument, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, we... Look. I'm not gonna play 20 questions with you, capo. I'll say it again. We killed him. Yeah, I knocked him out. Came up behind him and clapped him in the back of the head. He went down like a sack of sun. That's right, lawman. And then we hang the fuck. Mr. Tats, what did you use to knock the victim out? My fucking elbow copper. Summer unboxing a style. And where did this all take right place? Right fucking here. The fucker started coming to our bar. Ask him for it. Oh, come on, 58%. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Titus is solid as a rock. And so are a few others. Let's but go! <sighs> who's who's solid? Elaine, who looks like he might be Titus's right-hand man. The least antsy of the bunch. Definitely not his first time being questioned by the police. Right. This little rat-faced fellow is solid, too. Always fidgety. Yes, this guy. but no change there. Him neither. Mostly keeps to his tomato juice or mm. whatever he's got there. Who's cracking? <laughs> this one. He's sweating profusely and has difficulty breathing. They've smartly kept him out of the conversation thus far. A single sentence would wear him out. He can't take the length of the questioning. Keep it going long enough, and he'll crack. 
Hey, you, you having trouble breathing over there? You big fat fatso? You big fucking fatty fat? You, you, you roll horde? You, you, you goddamn bread lord? No. Of course he's having trouble breathing. Just look at how fucking fat he is. <laughs> you, you salad dodging, calorie thieving, Dr. Robotnik looking, go to Subway, order everything on it, part bus, Planet, uh, Kirby. Off, Angus is a powerful guy. All muscle. Ah, ah, ah. Keep your eye on this powerful guy. Sooner or later, he's going to break like a piece of twig. And fuck you too, Connor. So you're not telling me? Picking on Angus like this. We're done with this schoolyard shit. And just so you know. He doesn't have trouble breathing. His all muscle comment wasn't sarcastic. He's genuinely trying to look out for Angus. That's nice of him. That being said, eat shit and die. This one is a stone wall. You won't get more out of them about the night of the murder. Not yet. Like what, copper? When did it occur? You don't have to keep answering his questions. Shut up. I know, Lizzie. Relax. We killed him last Sunday night. Seemed like a good way to end the week. How long have you known the victim? Known him? We don't associate with hmm. scum like that, asshole. Yeah! Who do you think we are? Quiet. He came around about three weeks ago when that Pines cow first sailed into town. Happy? By the Pines cow, you mean Joyce Messier? The representative for White Pines? The same company mm. you're striking against? Pretends to check his notes. No. I mean the Pines cow. The stupid ass cow they sent in to fuck us over. But you know what? Why don't you ask her about the pretty boy? I'm sure she has interesting things to say when you ask her hard enough. That's enough insinuation for today, Titus. Officer, your interview is drawing to an end. Don't waste your last questions. I feel like the bullet is a bit of a, like, I'm kind of like playing my hand a little bit with my knowledge. And I don't know if that's a good idea, but I feel like it might freak out Angus and that might be good. So I'm kind of stuck. I'm going to go with the bullet though. Huh? A sip of beer makes the surprise go down easier. There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. Why was it there if you hanged him? How the fuck do I know? Anyone could have shot him. Target practice, maybe. His tight lips suddenly. This line of questioning is over. You got the cause of death already? Hanging. If there's any post-mortem trauma, it's your problem. This will not turn into a cross-examination. You don't- you don't get to tell me what to do. I am- I- you, you don't get to act like chief. This was a good move. Also, Notice how Titus doesn't like her much, especially when she's calling the shots. Why? Because he was worthless mercenary scum. And he stepped out alive in my town. And he stepped out of line. What kind of mercenary? The kind that shows up when you start a strike. Mm. The experienced kind, too. Had Kohoi and Semenine written all over him. Ex Oranese Special Forces. Oranese. A live grenade. Right here in our bar. This one has a special gripe with him coming here. I can't prove it. But I know he was sent by the Wild Pines. They hire merc shit like that. Story of every strike from here to Samara. I, I feel like he doesn't know they were special forces, just assumed. Because one night, he walked straight up to the mic and said, I'm RNE's goddamn special forces, and I'm gonna fuck you all. Okay, that could, I, I believe that also. Really? Yeah, really. Had a gin and tonic up there, sang some RNE's paratrooper song, and said he's gonna fuck everyone. He sounds genuine. We couldn't believe it either, but he fucking did, right there. 
Like some kind of animal. You know, I, I kind of believe him, actually. Wrong. He harassed women. One. What? Harassed workers. Threatened to kill some as a warning. How do you... How do you know these things? There's a slight unease in him, suddenly. He regrets mentioning the rape. Kill us all if we don't open the gates, if we don't let the scabs in, if we don't bend over. And that was before he started coming here. He says he regrets mentioning it. My question is how he knows. Yeah, he said it was his favorite joint now. Started coming here every night. Drinking, grabbing girls, grab one of ours mid karaoke right there on the stage. He grabbed someone? Yeah, this girl's on the mic. A beautiful girl, young. Gets into the second verse of Love a Lake. The fucker grabs her legs, starts screaming. Show me your cunt. Why don't you show me your cunt? Then, he gets knocked on the head with a wine bottle. Doesn't even fall down. Okay. Okay, this is... I mean, I never thought the the hang man was particularly a good guy to begin with. Though I, I'm not gonna lie, I the I kind of do believe the union workers here. I don't think they're lying. Aren't you fucking listening? My man is talking to you. He took care of it. They got the girl out before anything else could happen. Yeah, me and Eugene got her out. Aren't you fucking listening? Yeah, but who did he? Like, that is a serious allegation. No. You're not getting a name. That's a Martinez matter. And I'm not discussing it with you clowns. Despite the stone warning, you can slip one more question in. One more time. Titus, do not answer. You have been forthcoming enough. Fuck off, Carl. She's gone through enough without you harassing her, too. She doesn't need more embarrassment. What are you talking about? Embarrassment. If someone has been sexually assaulted, we need to... What you need is to get the fuck out of my face. I've had enough of explaining myself to you fucks. He's dead. It's done. As you can see, these men can only take so much baseless scrutiny. Baseless? I'm doing my best baseless. to keep the situation civil. Baseless? Baseless? Baseless scrutiny, they admitted to murder. What do you mean, baseless? There is an extremely strong base. It's the one of the strongest base. Self-confession. It won't be for long, she means. It's true. She was the only thing holding him back. <sighs> I'm not going to... I'm not going to, um, push him. Nothing. Your investigation here is done. Leave Martinez, go back to your stations where you belong. Eat my ass. I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we're going to look into this. Good luck with that. You've heard everything a rent -a cop is gonna hear from us. Real law officials. You're lucky you didn't get a beaten. rent -a cop So that's what this is about. He doesn't see you as his equals. I suggestion I didn't need you to tell me that. That was made extremely clear. Forget about their games. You've mapped out the characters. Reading the footprints in the yard should be easier now. That... That is, I have a, a five in authority. A five. This is shockingly hard. Holy shit. You still haven't explained the bullet in the man's head. You still on about that bullet? A bullet in a hangman's head. You're right, Copper. That is mighty curious. Indeed, mighty. How did it get there? Well, there are so many bullets in the world, and so many heads. <sighs> I guess it's only logical. 
At some point, one of them bullets had to end up in one of them heads. It's bound to happen again, you know? Just statistically speaking, of course. Okay. Wow! He's got it in a real evidence bag and all! Fucking damn it. Why don't you go home and log it into evidence? These men have told you what happened. You know what I think? I think he was shot in the head as a kid. And his brain grew around the bullet. Around the bullet, man. That's a good one. They're only pretending to enjoy this. Beneath the act, they don't like you knowing this. Mm. Shit! I probably did shoot him. I was drunk last night. You guys know me when I'm drunk. I was drunk last night too. Yeah, Glenn likes to shoot his guns when he's drunk. Better hope he stays sober. No, he meant before he was hanged. Did you shoot him before you hanged him? Before? After? During? This is getting ridiculous. They told you what happened. Stop wasting your time. Never been worried in my life, lawman. Ah, oh, it's a hard check to establish authority. Holy shit. Magnesium based life form. <laughs> Let's go. We tell them, hell no. You're about to become a magnesium based life form. <laughs> the age of the primitive carbon man is done. Done. No longer must mankind rely on slow working background radiation to take us further into our genetic destiny. This is the era of guided evolution, and magnesium is the key. You are the first of your species. The next step in human evolution. An advanced magnesium proto-man who mags it up, drinks it down, and sniffs it sideways. God damn, what's the bonuses? Minus one logic. No such thing, man! Plus two volition. Magnesium receptacle glands. Wait. Wait. This is maybe bad. <laughs> Guys, I have zero logic. But I've got eight volition. Eight. Eight. Holy shit. That's so much. With only one point in it. <sighs> so I need to pro uh, prove my authority. But ironically, nothing here is giving me less authority. That gives me that gives me less. There's like nothing I have that gives me more. Hey, Gart. Can I help you? No. Hey, man. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod. Points to the door. He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Shrugging is an international sign for no, I don't know what's behind that door. You see a heavy steel door. The door does not bug. The door does. The door does. The cobalt blues. <laughs> if I keep pushing it hard enough, it'll work. Was that? Could it be? The colder mama dakwa? No, it's probably just Joel. Imagination ringing in your ear. Listen more closely. There seems to be an extremely high pitched ring. <gasps> Ultrasonic. <gasps> Lena said it was very high pitched, right? <gasps> it's like something tickles your ear. Listen closely first. Kim doesn't care. Listen closely. There it is again. <gasps> You're about to rediscover a long lost species. I'm a genius. It must be very close. <gasps> maybe. Just maybe. It will come toward you. Keep still. It might perch on your shoulder. What are you doing? You're a police officer, not a pansy ornithologist. 
The only birds you should be looking for are healthy women of childbearing age. Oh, <laughs> I didn't catch that. Hold very still. Oh no. The sound. It's moving away. Somewhere over there. Go after it. No. Too late. It's gone. There is no ringing anymore. Go the then. Of the Leave. Leave like everything else. Don't. Listen more. Keep your ears peeled then. If the species really has migrated to Martinez, you're sure to hear it again. Yes! <sighs> the Kola Mama! You're certain. It's time to internalize the slang. All right, what are some other things we can do? Oh yeah, we can do the footprints in the dust again. I, I have a better chance now because of the men I've just spoken to. Oh, what's she doing up there? There are several footprints in the mud. Counted the Hardy one. boys. Hardy said they hanged the victim. This gal said, walked. go do it. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. Where else have we seen a gang of men in work boots? That's right. The Hardy boys in the mess hall of whirling in rags. Okay, go over them one by one. One. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 46. Just like Titus was wearing in his booth. This is the big dick, Titus Hardy, the one with the ball cap on his head. Okay. Is it? They didn't even bother to change boots. Putting them on the scene is easy. Maybe even too easy. Wait, there weren't eight of them. Two. Standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Number 44. Either the blonde muscular guy, Glenn, or the young guy with a plectrum around his neck. Three. Hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced. Were there toes, eight? Number forty-three. The Titus. Banger, perhaps. Titus, blonde, um, old, fat, young, tatted. The guy on the far left. I forget. I forget how they described him. The guy talking about the girl. Would eight have been the woman, the guard, the fake gardener? Four, standard work boot, number 45 or 46. Theo, the old smoker. You think you even see a tiny fleck of cigarette ash inside the print. Five, another standard work boot, reinforced toes. Number 44. Musician. It's the musician. Four. That's right. Either the musician. He's musician, the guy on the far left. Or the muscle bound blonde. Glenn. Six. Light as air. Same make of boot. But number 41. Small like a rat. Shanky. Oh, Liz? Lizzie? Whatever her name is? Better late than never, detective. The whole world is dark and the tracks burn in it with strange beauty. Seven. The glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46. The imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Fat Angus. Fat Carrying Angus. Something. Eight. Another standard work boot. Number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole. The right sole is smoother, more worn. Curious. A missing eighth hardy boy. Oh, wait, I was, I think I was double right. Seven sets of tracks, right? The Hardy Boys were here. Eight, actually. That's all? Interesting. Then one of them seems to be missing. Anything else out of the ordinary? A leader like Titus doesn't let one of his guys out of sight easily, especially at a time like this. One soul suit more than the other. Interesting. Let's name it the Old Soul. I wouldn't be surprised if this was the missing Hardy Boy. Wonder who he is. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? 
Could be that that chill smoker guy. Could be the guy singing. He regrets it the moment he says it. So some one of the people we're looking for is a drummer, huh? Huh, Kim? No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. Very well. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. The guy smoking that I didn't realize was smoking? I was totally thinking that. If only I come up with that he idea. He doesn't seem to hear you. Oh. Looking south. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Mm-hmm. I'm guessing that's the skinny hardy boy. The one with his front teeth missing. The rat-faced one. Yes, well, he did look a bit like a rat. You're right. Do you think those prints belong to him? Sure. I could still be wrong, but I'm probably not. Heavy one. 200. This could be the combined weight of two people. One carrying the other who's tied up. Let's say a heavily built... Yeah, it, it was... Right. Yeah. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Yeah, you're right, Probably big guy. yes. This would also fit with the victim being dead from a previous gunshot wound. Right, because he's they carrying the body. Him because he could no longer walk. Is there anything else that's not worth it? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported... It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for Coastal Havashot. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last one day. Hmm. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here... What do I think? What happened? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. Then, yep. after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. But we know the victim had a bullet in his head. A more precise way to put it is it was made to look like a lynching. By these tracks? Yes. All right, I really want to internalize the, the thought. I, I need to internalize the co the co <laughs> cold de mama d'aqua. I have to. Seven hours? Oh my God. I would like to talk to the lady up there. I'd like to maybe talk to the union lady as well because she's being sus. I've got nothing to say to you. Never mind. One, two, three, four. No, there is seven in here. Ah, crap. So it's not her. Blonde, rat, incarcerated, fat, Tyus old, and then Eugene the singer. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Oh, well. It is what it is. I forget how we get to the roof. The door is closed. I wonder if that lady might have been the... The, hmm, the one who was assaulted. I've been to that roof, haven't I? The way top? Have I? I don't remember if I have or not. I would need to climb it somehow. Maybe... There's an open door. Can't seem to click on this. An eighth hardy boy. Driver sounds like this guy right here. Still here. Stuck in this damn jam, my man. What's up? Oh, high time to arrest him. Okay, what do you actually Can't even get a few jokes past you, my man. I've got another haul of foul cargo. They usually get shipped to Grod in the Oxygen. The man taps his fingers rhythmically against his arm. Nope. Don't. Some of the other drivers do, though. Yep. Nothing wrong with that statement. God damn. Your senses have nothing to add. You could also check the kiosk. Nope. Some of the... Yep. 
Nothing wrong with that statement. I'm always you getting an AIDS. Check the kiosk down the I've got my thing locked too. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression. Chain cutters. Stop the faucet. Hangs on the bathroom wall. The chain cutters slip out of your hands as you attempt to twist the faucet. Damn it. The door is This door can still nothing the lieutenant gives you. He doesn't like with this. You should punch a fucking hole in it. <laughs> no, never, never, in your never trust Half Light. I really wanna, but I don't, I'm not gonna. Never trust Half Light. Never ever trust Half Light. Oh, that's the weird crypto guy. Or Sigma male guy. Alright, um, let's see here. I, you know, I, I, I want to talk to the smoker on the balcony, but I, I might, I might just have, I might just have to handle it on my own. Kim, good luck, the buddy. His eyes are all right. I'm sorry, Kim. I don't, I, <laughs> goodbye, friend. There go those beautiful enamel boots. You will never own the full set now. May they rest in processing. No! I will need a little help carrying him. You take the hands, I'll take the legs. I'm so sad about that. I kept trying to take the boots off, but it wouldn't let me. I needed to do that earlier, probably. Or I just don't know. I don't know, it's an RPG, I don't know. No! I'm so fucking lonely! Come back, Kim! Unauthorized access to the whirling trash. Find this person you may know of temper the sea and may take a while. Secret passage. Caller. Victim's tattoos. Kuno lied to you. Return and confront him. <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? Let's confront the child. He lied. I wanted the armor so bad. Kuno, you shitlord. Kim isn't here to stop me anymore from beating that ass. You missed a good show before. A kid came by and completely fucked the tree to pieces. That is probably a slur. He fucked the tree up. Fucked it good. It was porno. Shoot that shit at Kuno, pig o -naught. I talked to Manana about the armor. So? You should thank you. Okay. Sure. Good job. Eh, uh, what? Don't be playing Kuno off as a snitch bitch. The oldest trick in the book, people. Uh, I wonder if, if I actually show the kid, like, actual affection, if he'll change. Are you snitching, Kuno? Ooh, give him to fight each other. This is some ancient bullshit, people. Kuno would rather take ten than snitch. Pigs full of shit. Get the fuck out of here. You found a real nice button to push. Turned the tables on him. You're a little bit closer now to understanding this kid. Ooh. Who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? Kuno. Primal. Violent. Why do you refer yourself in the third person? The fuck are you calling a third person? Kuno's third the fucking person? Third person? God, the fucking accent. He looks slightly confused, but proud he came up with that retort. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! The thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent like a fire alarm. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Oh my god! Help! He's got the Kuno! Help! Calm down. Anyone watching can see you're doing nothing. Just keep it professional. Fuck that! Confront him! Just answer the questions. Help! He's digging his dick out! Oh god. Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're afraid! <laughs> god damn it! Pigs are there in Kuno! Somebody please! 
He's it's full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across Martinez. Look at his shit eating grin. He knows there's nothing you can do to him. He's bullying you and you are helpless. Kill him. Kill him now. He won't see death coming. <laughs> No. No. No, I won't I won't kill him. Will it? Will it just like do I just punch him? Do I it's too funny not to try. Oh! <laughs> The blow connects surprisingly well, leaving your knuckles tingling. Kuno feels it. This was no light tap. <laughs> the distorted 12-year-old is trying to get his bearings. Then we have a normal conversation now, am I right, Kuno? You respect me now? Your dream and pig. That's not how this shit works. That was so funny. I can't believe I just punched a 12 year old boy in the face. A little. But don't expect anything to change. Sometimes it's nice to ha have this face in the bottom left have no morals. Don't let him dominate you, Kuno. Fuck his fat ass. Okay, these words. Kuno doesn't. All right, anything that gives me more empathy. No, anything that removes? No. Fuck does Kuno care? The fuck do you want with it? Your shack? Uh, what's, what was with the pig head? Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Cool pig head. I liked it. I got one too. It's shit. I bet he'll probably find that funny. Eh. What is this shit? Fucking on yourself. This is weird level shit. Kuno doesn't go there. I was making a joke, you dumbass. I did just punch him in the face. Maybe he's a little he's a little dazed. Fuck your shit back to normal. What is this? Alright, never mind. He's too stupid. That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Bet you'd like to ride the lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eye. Good call, pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. Here we go. It's not Kuno. It's Kuno S. Okay. Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life, like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno S was the one who wound him up and directed him. You make a good point, Empathy. Also, Kuno hasn't stopped talking to you even enjoys it from time to time. When you talk to the other one, it's like talking to a cornered animal. She only hisses. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Hey, hey kid. You won't buy drugs. Fuck you whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Kuno S is gonna scream and yell. Fuck you, f whispering about. Yep. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper. Okay. Let's whisper, pig. Okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna whisper. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. 
You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Okay. Let's 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 pin it on her. She fucked up. She's not fucked up. Everyone's fucked up. Stop judging shit. Wrong move. Damn it. But he's whispering still. You haven't lost him. Just don't mess up again. Or you will. There are no guarantees here. Fuck. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. This this, this makes I feel like this is the wrong move because it makes him look weak. But 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 at the same time, empathy says that he respects madness. And if he respects madness, then saying this is also bad. These are both bad. He respects madness, so this is bad. This makes him look weak. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, but, yeah, but... Uh, I, uh, I'll go with the first one. It's okay. The pig's trying to pit us against each other. Not gonna let him do that. Fuck. Idiot. You bungled it up. Fuck! That's it. You let him off the line. That was a bad, manipulative thing to say. You should understand. I got you this far. I couldn't get you all the way. Damn it! Try to fuck my Kuno! <laughs> Try to fuck my Kuno away! Me and Kuno are tight! We ride for life! A chill comes over you, the wind from the boulevard south, lashing you for trying to separate them, for trying to take the street out of Kuno. I feel like the street out of Kuno. I feel like my logic wasn't unsound though there, you know? I feel like I was I was I was told both. I was told he respects madness and don't make him into a bitch. And I feel like I like either option was bad. Ugh. You were too pushy last time. Think this through. Try to really understand the psychological bond Kuno has with Kuno S. Just look. While Kuno has no problem being near you, she always she came up with also all in all. Fuck you whispering about. Wow, I can just retry this so easily. Holy shit. He's whispering too. He's going with it. Fuck you. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper. Okay. Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. I'm actually shocked I can retry this this you easily. Can still fuck this up. It says Don't he was. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. That's bizarre, though. It's like, he says he respects madness. But then... All in all, Kuno respects madness. You can't hope to outdo her on that front. But then, like, saying she's mad seems wrong. I'm crazy. You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him! Kuno, I'm fucking warning you! You're gonna get us into shit! She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see! Did Kuno not tell ya? Kuno told ya! Kuno talks to whoever he wants! Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her, so she can't read his lips. What do you mean she spoke someone? Kuno means she killed someone. That's right. She's a killer. Like, actually a killer. Are you getting this? You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think it is to kill a fat ass? Sweet talk him, then knife him. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. How many? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. That was a really good line. 
not only the sound, the sound effect, and then the way he delivered the word fear, and then the click of the clock all at the one. That was great. That was such good timing. <sighs> you said she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. None of that kiddie psycho, Captain and shit. She does the real deal. Whoa. Yeah. What's the real deal? Snuff radio shit. Believe me, pig, you don't want to know. What? What's that language she uses? Fuck knows. She says it's the song of air people or some shit. Crazy people. The fucking knackies. I don't know. Some things are too awful to dwell on. The knackies and runkaris might be some kind of defense mechanism. Anything to do with the dead man? Yeah. She would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Mm. Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. Well, I believe that. Is she your sister? Fuck no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in, like a mad dog or some shit. Yeah, she was just there. Apartment building behind the fence. What was that, Kuno? She was in the hallway. Dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. Uh, I'm not gonna point. Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair I think pointing wet. will give it away. I think she pissed on the floor too. Don't she look was there for three days in the corner every time Kuno went out. Don't look behind you, but the guy behind you is really cute. Where? I didn't want to do one of those moments. I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home and she's sleeping under the desk under a pile of clothes like a dog. What about your parents? Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno. Kuno S. Two of a kind. Why is she called Kuno S then? Because she fucking looks like Kuno. Fair, yeah, the freckles and the red hair. No one knows her name. Kuno told you this shit was psycho killer. How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. I'm here for you, kid. Don't you worry, buddy. Listen, listen. C is Kuno's go to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. Do you understand? He may not be able to do it, but he will try. Right now, he believes he will. I can respect that. All right. Now we can do business. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. Yeah. What do you want? Kuno can hook you up with. He starts no longer whispering. Don't look him up with shit, Kuno. See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics. If you run a little errand for the Kuno, get you hooked, pig. Get his hook in you. Then Kuno gonna get you hooking for more. Cash in big style, pig cooker. That's right. Kuno's a candy store for pigs now. Get ready to be rewarded. <laughs> Wait, can I buy drugs off a 12-year-old kid? No fucking way. Kuno gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. Hey, you know, Kim's not here. That's fine. This is this is chill. I, he doesn't have to worry about my drug use. Dirty popo man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Who's your dad? Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revishow. 
He doesn't give a shit about a single thing he drinks too. That's not what I asked. Like half a baggy, but like in this vial. It's not very much. What are you talking about half a G? This shit is giant grade A shit. So clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it because there's barely any. I've made up my mind. This is what's going to happen. Okay. Kuno's listening. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a narc Kuno. I'm going to confiscate that crap. Lie. You need speed. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love this. There's two of the exact same options. I'm going in there for justice. I'm a Narcuno. I'm gonna confiscate that crap. Or the exact same thing, except lie. You need speed. I'm going after the most violent man in Revishall. Sure, whatever. If you survive, make sure to bring that shit back to Kuno. Kuno's almost out. You wouldn't like the Kuno when he's out. Just get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. Go to room 12, first floor, and kick down the door. Police violence style. Kuno style. And then it's action time. You're locked in the room with violent fuckhead. That's it. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. Kuno doesn't fucking kick. I'm starting to respect the kid a bit more.